Hey guys, so we just wanted to check out the Android M Developer Preview 2 which is available for your Nexus 6 uh, now and it's also available for some other Nexus devices uh, and I have just uh, flashed this on so a lot of my apps have just kind of reinstalled themselves and wanted to check it out here to see how it looks and what some of the changes are. Uh, I think uh, some of the changes are background changes like uh, there's uh, been fixes when it comes to memory leakage, uh, memory sprawl, as well as uh, battery drain in standby mode. But there are some uh, new features as well which have been brought on, such as a dedicated uh, memory manager. So you can see this here, uh, which is probably long overdue, really. Uh, you can see that we can control. Uh, the uh, performance here as well as the memory used by certain apps uh, so that is pretty cool and uh, it goes by the uh, strange number or numbering system that Google has adopted for these uh, particular releases this is the MPZ79M uh, so uh, we can see the uh, new Android symbol here which is quite nice and we do get a weird uh, kind of uh, no toast notification when you try and go into a game. Uh, other than that, obviously, you will have seen this uh, new kind of uh, app drawer for the original uh, developer preview. So uh, I think uh, that is uh, quite the same here. Uh, everything seems to be quite uh, nice and fast, actually. I was expecting it to be uh, a little bit uh, kind of buggy. Uh, kind of like the iOS beaters, but to me it just seems uh, very nice and uh, usable here. A uh, bit of a shame that we don't have a fast way to get rid of all of these things. I think that is uh, quite annoying still that I have to do this one by one. Uh, but other than that, uh, you can see we do have this wallpaper that's come on as well. Uh, looking into the wallpapers, I can't really see too much in the way of differences uh, compared to what there was before. Uh, but this one does look quite new. I haven't like downloaded this, so uh, I don't think I have anyway. I might have actually. It might have just restored itself. So, uh, but the notification shade looks so uh, quite similar to before. Uh, I do like these uh, kind of uh, animations that come up. When you click on things, you can see it's like a lollipop head, and they do look very nice and uh, clean here. And if we go into the settings, you can see like a square kind of animation there, which is quite cool. Uh, if we have a look at these settings, we can see that uh, everything looks quite similar, really. We get the ambient display still, uh, and also some of the other settings uh, look quite similar like the location and uh, some other things what else we got sound and notification uh, do we get any new sounds so these are the ones that have come with it by default so it's called Tethys or something and I'll probably change that to my favorite uh, hangouts which is the best uh, and uh, we can see that uh, we get uh, all the inbuilt apps look quite similar here not too much in the way of differences there uh, and other things that we can have a look at is the camera don't think this is going to be very different but worthwhile checking nevertheless uh, so you can see that uh, we get quite the same kind of options here and don't think there is uh, much in the way of difference. 4K is still there which is good. I think this uh, receptacle looks a bit different though. Which have not noticed before maybe I'm just not very observant it's quite cool if you ask me and I think they've moved the gallery up here as well so 
so it looks like this is all working so that is good to know if you want to check this out and uh, we can have a look at some of the kind of uh, inbuilt ones as well such as the music player see if they've made any changes to the like equalizer settings maybe so quite the same as before not a huge difference there you can search for apps here which is quite nice So I'll definitely uh, check this out a little bit further and uh, report back on any differences that I do find. I think in general this is uh, probably just an iterative update on the previous developer preview. A little bit more stable with some bugs fixed and uh, so that is uh, quite good to know. But uh, yeah, just a quick little video here then checking out uh, the Android M developer preview 2. Hope you did enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.